author Patricia Evan has spent the past decade researching and writing a series of books on the subject of verbal abuse. Patricia Evans joins us now with her latest book titled The Verbally Abusive Man, Can He Change? Welcome, Patricia. The first thing we want to ask you. you is what, what signifies verbal abuse? We hear people yelling at each other all the time. Mm -hmm. what, yeah. what actually makes well, it verbal Well, if, you, if you're yelling at the kids upstairs, you're saying, hey, you guys, hurry up, clean up, we got to go. You're not abusing them necessarily unless you're really showing a lot of anger. But if you're telling someone what they are, what they think, like, you're too sensitive, you think you know it all, what they're doing, you're trying to start a fight as if that person were you. Mm. That's the key. If no one, no one knows what goes on within you, and I know this is a pretty serious subject, but it's so important because all of a sudden something happens, somebody's injured, hurt, and everyone goes, well, this couldn't have happened, you know. Now, another thing people always want to know is why are you writing about the verbally abusive man? We all know that there are people out there who are women who have been sure. verbally oh, abusive. Absolutely. However, um, I have never seen a woman who rages, who yells, who takes the telephone away from her husband, who calls him names, change. I've never seen one change, but I've had a lot of men calling me saying, you know, I just realized I'm doing this. Maybe they read the first book, The Verbally Abusive Relationship. Their wife might have said, you'll see me again after you read this. Sometimes it takes a lot of encouragement. Mm -hmm. And so what, when they do, they say, oh, my gosh, I'm so doing men this. Are more, you, you think my, men are more, you think men are change want to than change women, than women, women are. Men in general, not all, of course, not, you know, real women sociopaths and stuff. But... They can be, um, they are, they will want to put every effort into it if they, usually if they've been married for a while, there's certain signs. If they've been married for a while, they don't want to split their assets up. At first they think, you know, that's their main motivation. But later they realize, I don't want to be irrational. I won't want to constantly pretend to be her and know what she's thinking and feeling mm. and what she should do. So understanding what verbal abuse is about is really important because it doesn't happen to the neighbors. Mm -hmm. He's not doing this to other people just you know to just to home. just at home the door closes and he he's a different person. he's yeah when he steps out he is the outside person because he's developed his persona he's so, so he knows how he's to lost be. he doesn't even know he's lost so much of himself he's made up who he is this perfect image maybe a great big star of some sort you know and, and how damaging is it to the family to the wife to the kids i mean the, it's when people die from it the stress of a daily assault to consciousness that says, oh, you don't know, oh, that's silly. Oh, what do you want to do yeah. that for? You, you're just trying to start a fight. Why are you bringing that well, up? Why are, what have you got to complain about? You've got it better than anybody. That constant assault to their mind can just be so stressful. It's subtle because so like a stressful. punch in the face is a punch it's, in the face. Yeah. Someone can feel that. You, you can feel see the bridge, that. You know, but, but well, they ask, verbally, they say. You don't, uh, I had, have had women actually call me coming out of the hospital. In fact, I read an article, a woman in a, a pink magazine, it's called. Anyway, in the salon just yesterday, this woman saying I was physically abused, but the verbal abuse was worse. Women have called me leaving the hospital. What happened that day? Why did he flip on you going from being Mr. Nice Guy to being well, horrible. Well, does it start the out marriage, that way? Does it no, start out with it verbal flips, abuse and works switch. into it? It's a switch. Almost always it's a switch. I said something happened that day that made him feel super secure so he could make you his other half. Then, if you act different, talk different, walk different, leave from the way he expects you to be, and you don't agree with him or you think differently, he can't find the rest of himself because he's put it in you. It's a very weird idea, but it totally works. Is it a control mechanism? So he's trying to shape her into dream woman so she feels constantly controlled. And he doesn't know this necessarily. He's just saying, this doesn't have anybody else. It's only you. You irritate me. I don't know why. So sometimes they need to, well, we're tape recorders. But the verbally abusive relationship tells them what, they are, what it is. The verbally abusive man, can he change, how? really takes them through how to get him to see what he's doing with an agreement that's mutual. What is that agreement? Like, how, does he, agreement how, does, like, what, what is it, how does he start? What, at what point does a man finally say, Okay, I see it. I'm doing when it. He, he when he thing? hears his partner say, what did you say? What? And not defend herself. Not say, oh, I didn't say that. I didn't put that Why there. Why would a woman not defend herself? Because Why would she stay in a verbally abusive relationship? Oh, well, that's the two different things. Yeah, she'll stay because, one, he usually threatens to take her children. That's huge now. There's whole mm. places mm -hmm. that tell him how to do that. 
Then um, he threatens to cut her off. He cuts all the credit cards. Sometimes he's controlled all the money, too. Um, usually, often, she's threatened for her life. Uh, usually, and she's... And subtle reasons, too. There's, and there's lots of reasons that she also has no name for it. It, was, it didn't have a name. Her, she may have gone to 10 therapists. They didn't have a name for it. They didn't know this is verbal abuse. They just keep saying, be nice, he'll be nice. <laughs> right, you know, that's... some crazy thing like that. It doesn't work. Patricia Evans' book is called The Verbally Abusive Man, Can He Change? We really just scratched so the he surface can. here. I mean, he, he can. He there can. If he wants to, he, he can, can change. in the book. Well, he good. can change and how to do it. Thank so, you, Patricia. Thank you so much. Thank for being you. Here. It was great. It. Thank you. Still ahead, Chris.